day after Boris left, I'm sure there's been a time-lapse video on it, we had to jack up the machine, transport the machine on the SBMTs, lift up a footbridge and transport the machine down to the portal all in less than 24 hours. The last couple of weeks we've just been aligning the machine, done the final alignment on the machine and put it in its final position for launch and we launched. For the first few days and weeks we take it pretty carefully and we're using this time to test the machine, make sure everything works, to connect all the logistics that need to connect to it to make it work efficiently and some of the, the crews while they're, you know, these guys are world experts in doing this sort of work. It's a new machine for them, so they've got to spend time just learning the machine and, and getting everything working the way they want it. Teamwork's incredibly important on a job like this, right down to logistics. It's on a small, narrow site. Everything has to come in through a very narrow entrance. All our segments are going to come in from Old Oak Common. That's all got to be planned. And logistically, everything's got to swing in the right manner. If we get one thing out of place, even a little bit, it can stop the whole machine for a couple of hours. So yeah, teamwork's incredibly important in this job site. We rely heavily on, on our expertise in the project management and, and construction site management field. And we look towards that collaborative effort to, to ensure that we go home unharmed at the end of every day. Safety as a core runs through everything that Crossrail and its delivery partners are working on. So I'm convinced that we can take that and build on that as a foundation and make this the safest construction project that we've ever seen in the UK. You know, it's a very complicated job and we've got to be very careful. We're tunneling under some of the most expensive property in London, under all but one of the London Underground lines. So we've got to do everything, you know, right first time. It's got to be spot on to make sure that we do our work to a standard that we can accept without causing anybody else any grief and I'm pretty confident the team we've got is capable of doing that. The machine at the moment is doing probably about 3 rpm on the cutter head, uh, pushing forward at about 10 millimetres per minute. So it's, it's, it's quite a slow advance. We're just trying to get all the systems right and calibrated for when we're completely in the ground, when the whole thing is buried. Once the first machine is fully buried in the ground, then we're going to bring the second machine up and start the second machine off. The two machines will then be working together. We'll drive out the two machines past Paddington Station, under High Park, under Bond Street, under Tottenham Road and under Holborn. And then the two machines will end up at the east end of Farringdon. And that'll take something like 18 months for them to take that journey.